Hey, and welcome to the fourth and the last video on building a web app for your data science project using Streamlit. So what we had so far was only to build our application. And I can show you what we had or where we left off in the previous video. We just need to run my application. And this is what it looks like. So I have a graph, I have some explanations, I can interact with it, everything works because we implemented it already. You can change this, change this. Yeah, everything works. But the problem is I cannot share this application with someone else right now because it is not deployed. And deployment means it's basically put it somewhere on the internet. It has a URL that other people can reach it with. So, and there are a couple of steps to deployment, uh, deploying Streamlit apps. And we're going to go through those steps in this video. The first step of deploying a Streamlit app is actually getting an account from Streamlit. So if you go to streamlit.io slash sharing, you will end up at this page. And what you need to do is basically Streamlit has this service where you can sign up for and um, they will give you an opportunity to deploy your app so that you don't have to uh, create another account somewhere else. I think a really popular way of doing it is using Heroku. I think they have some uh, free plans where you can deploy some apps, also some web apps like React and everything. But Streamlit basically has its own deployment environment. All you need to do is request an invite to start sharing now. So this is not something you can do right away. You have to do this um, a little bit in advance. Um, I think it took me three to four days for them to send me an invite doesn't take so long. So you just need to fill this really simple form. Uh, if you don't have a GitHub URL already, it's fine. They don't require it. Just your email and sign up now. Then once your email uh, arrives, it will look like this. It actually has all the um, uh, guidance for you, but there are a couple of things uh, that might be a little bit confusing about like you might not know what to do. So I'm going to show you those. So First thing is putting our code on GitHub. So you might have already put your code in GitHub, but maybe you haven't, maybe you were just following this tutorial. I haven't put it on GitHub. I haven't showed you how to do that. So I'm going to show you to do that. And then we're basically going to uh, sign into Streamlit Share. That's their service. And we're going to deploy it. You're going to see it's very simple. So as they said, the first thing we're going to do is to put our app on GitHub, but let's read the small text here. It says, make sure it is a public folder and we have a requirements TXT file. So I do not have a requirements TXT file right now. I only have my data here. And then I also have my main application. What requirements TXT does is basically, you know, when we uh, import some libraries on our computer, we also write it down in a requirements TXT file saying that I need this, this and this library uh, for this app to run. And it's really cr uh, easy to create this um, requirements TXT file. I'm just going to create a new terminal and go to my application again. Uh -huh. Yes, so this is my application folder. Uh, it's very simple. We just need to install this library called Piprex. Yeah, I know I already had it, but if you didn't, it will install it for you. And the next thing you need to do is to say piprex and you need to get a path to your uh, application, but I'm already in the folder where my application is. So I'm just going to say dot slash and then it will create a requirements TXT file for me. And it's already here. So you can see inside, it just says this application needs Panda, Streamlit and Scikit-learn to be able to run. And that's all. That's all we need. Okay, so that means that now I can put my library to GitHub. It's going to create a new terminal file, terminal uh, window. Okay, so we haven't created uh, any GitHub repository yet. So first I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to go to GitHub. And say new repository. Uh, I will name it same as my folder. So it's my awesome streamlit front end. My awesome streamlit front end. I think I have a dash there, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no description. I will make sure that it's public. No read me, no git ignore, nothing. I do not add any other thing. And I say create repository. 
and I have a totally empty repository now. All I need to do is to put my files from my local place to this remote repository. Okay, so let's do this. So I again need to navigate to where my files are. And once I'm here, I'm going to say git init. And that basically initializes this folder as a git folder. Okay, and after that, I'm going to say add all of these files that are in this, uh, in this folder right now to my git. And that's done too. And I will do it like I'm committing, committing normally. Uh, I'll just say first commit. Okay, that's all. And uh, so normally this, I mean, this looks like, you know, pushing your uh, changes to GitHub, but the difference is right now, GitHub doesn't know where to put these things. So what I need to do is to say, okay, everything that you just added to Git, you need to add it to this URL. So I need to copy this link and then say git remote add origin and paste this link. And that's all. After that, I need to do git push origin master. And it will change all my, I will push all my files to GitHub. And it's done. Let's see if they're already here. Awesome, they're already here. I have my data folder, I have my main application Python file and my requirements txt. If you're using Mac, you could also you might also see this extra file. Normally we added in git ignore to not include this file. I don't even know what it exactly is. It's just something that comes with Mac folders. Uh, you can just disregard it for now. Also, you can just go and remove it if you like, um, but that's, that's not a big deal. We can just keep it from now on. Okay, so my... Uh, code is on GitHub right now, and all I need to do is to log into stream with sharing and deploy it. And that's pretty simple. They already sent me the link. Sign into stream with IO. It's this simple. It might it might prompt you to log in with your GitHub account. Just make sure that when you're signing up for Streamlit sharing, you are using the same email address that you use in your GitHub account. Otherwise it cannot know, it cannot connect to your GitHub account. So you will need to log in with your GitHub and then say new app. And yes, this is my application, my awesome Streamlit front end. It's the master branch, but the main file name for me is main.py if you remember here as main.py, that's where my application is. And I say deploy. And I think it's going to take a couple of minutes for it to fully deploy and then I'll be able to see my app online. And it looks like my application is deployed. So as you can see, it's everything went well, no errors, no nothing. And this is going to be my URL. So let's try it already here. Look at that, I have a legit URL that I can reach my application with. And this is just running on Streamlit servers. I don't know how they have everything figured out in the background, but it looks like it's pretty simple for me. So maybe you wanna add this to your GitHub repository so people who end up in your page can use this application. So what you can do very easily is just to say, create new file. I'm going to say readme.md and you know, my first streamlit project it's very awesome and i'm going to say you can reach the application here and i'm going to make this a link if i remember correctly I have to make links on in the markdown i think this should be it let's say commit Yes, and that's how, that's how it works. So you can share the link to your GitHub repository so that someone who wants to see your work, for example, can go to main.py and see, okay, oh, this is her work or this is his work. Okay, what does she do? This is cool, this looks nice. And then if they also want to deploy it and see how it looks in real life, then they can click this link 
they will end up at your application and that's all nothing else your application is uh, deployed it's very simple i actually would like to thank streamlit folks from here uh, for their service it is actually super 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 useful makes everything very easy and it's just yeah amazing for especially data scientists or people who want to become data scientists that do not have um experience with deploying apps so this is just awesome thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and if you liked the video don't forget to give it a like and even maybe subscribe because i'm more or less here every week and trying to bring you the content about becoming a data scientist and don't forget to also go check out my website so you want to be a data scientist.com there i share weekly articles i have a podcast where i interview other data scientists and data professionals and i have free and paid resources i have courses on data science both for understanding where you want to go with data science and also getting practical hands-on experience on data science. I mean, that's actually the name of my course, Hands-On Data Science. So go and check those out and I'll see you around.